All right, I don't want to scare anybody. I am not fear-mongering. I don't want to cause alarm. But yes, the earth is burning. It's burning. We're all burning up. Okay? So pay those carbon taxes to Al Gore so that we can save the earth. Are you kidding me? This is still going on. Scientists balk at hottest year claims. 2014 was only the 34th warmest for USA. Human activity has pushed Earth beyond planetary boundaries and ocean life faces mass extinction event. Doesn't matter that the majority of scientists have concluded that global warming actually stopped. The warming trend stopped 17 years ago but they're still pushing this unbelievable, outrageous lie that man is causing global warming. It's still going on. That's why they're pushing Agenda 21. That's why it's rolling out with such speed that, yes, it is head spinning, and it is going to destroy everybody's life and their freedoms and they're robbing your property, and you're going to get fined if you don't have Energy Star appliances, and that's why you got these enforcers going around to people's homes, knocking, and right now they're just asking your permission to come in and inspect, but eventually they will demand, and you will be forced to allow them entry into your home. Agenda 21, if you don't know what it is, please do the research. Yes, Earth is burning up. So, <laughs> you better do something. You know, stop breathing. Get your cows to stop farting. And don't drive cars anymore because you're contributing to the earth burning up. As it is actually pretty cold all over the world right now. All you have to do is come over here to Drudge. Just come over. Just come over once a day, and you don't have to read the articles. Just read the headlines, and you will see how friggin' insane the world is. Obama, he's going to veto any new sanctions against Iran. Iran, the access of evil. But he's going to veto any new sanctions. And why? Why? Well, <laughs> actually, our, the president behind the president is Valerie Jarrett. Valerie Jarrett, and she's actually from Iran. And yes, Obama has very tight ties to the Muslim community. I believe he is a Muslim. And remember that $8 billion that he gave to the Muslim Brotherhood? And who manages the Muslim Brotherhood's finances? Obama's brother. This has been going on for years, and you just can't seem to get anything through to the American people. Not my subscribers, but a whole lot of Americans are still unbelievably clueless. How is this possible? Saudi delays more flogging of blogger. I just posted a video on that. And that blogger, that blogger who actually insulted the morality of Saudi society, he's going to get 1,000 lashes. That's right for an insult. Thousand lashes. Hawaii is getting a little bit more angry over how the USA took over Hawaii. And their anger is resurfacing now and they're not too happy, I guess, uh, you know, being in the union. I don't think they want to be in the union anymore. Do you blame them? I don't want to be in this union. Obamacare chief quits. Hmm. Well, you can click on that link to find out why. But the price of meat and chicken and fish and eggs and electricity hits record highs. I guess that's because the economy is recovering and Americans can pay for it. That's right. The economy is just fine. As thousands of people are being laid off. And if you haven't subscribed and watched X22 reports videos, I highly suggest you do. I will link below to his last video. Thousands are being let go. 
but the economy is recovering. More and more are unemployed. More are losing their homes, but the economy is recovering. Yes, you just believe that, dictator-in-chief. You believe those government officials who are telling you that the economy is recovering. It's fine. Don't worry. You can believe it because you're still comfortable, but people all around you are hurting, suffering the consequences of our evil, criminal, psychopathic government today that's destroying our lives. And eventually, it will catch up to the comfortable. More hacks. Twitter has been hacked. And let's see, a majority of public school students are in poverty. How is that possible if the economy is recovering? Children, more and more, are falling into poverty. But we're doing fine here. Oh, the Department of Justice, the Department of Justice has kept a secret database of Americans' calls. <laughs> I'm sure it's to protect you. And UFO watchers accuse NASA of cutting live stream after alien sighting. A small dog finds its way back home after it was stolen with the owner's car. That's nice news. Muhammad Ali hospitalized again. Oh, the, uh, Seattle's mayor proposes new tent cities to deal with homelessness. New tent cities. That's right. We've got tent cities all over the country. But, but now the mayor of Seattle is proposing new tent cities to deal with the homelessness because the economy is doing fine and recovering. Connecticut has been uh, suffering a series of earthquakes, Connecticut. And this is really phenomenally upsetting. I can't even go to these articles, but a six-year-old girl was found hanging from a jump rope in a foster home bedroom. What do you think was happening to that six-year-old girl? There is so much evil in the world, and I wish those Americans who deny that evil exists could open their brains could open their mind. It exists. It's, it is coming at us like a tsunami. We're being flooded with evil today. Six-year-old girl. Could a six-year-old girl even figure out how to hang herself? She left a note written in a purple marker, I'm sorry for what I do. Six years old. What happened to that six-year-old? Jesus. Well, it's a frightening, uh, just one website. You can just come on Drudge, and I, I know that a lot of people have their thoughts about Drudge, and I have my thoughts as well. It's not about that. It's about checking out these headlines. And again, you don't have to read the articles. Just to stay on top of what is occurring, all you need to do is come over to one website and check out the headlines. And you will see that we are entering a period of such darkness, it is, well, we all know that what we're facing today is now imaginable. But what we're facing today, just think back a couple of years ago. Would you have imagined the world descending into such unbelievable insane <laughs> chaos I, I, I couldn't have so I think what we're going to be seeing just this year we're going to be facing the unimaginable I think things are going to become so unbelievably insane the evil is going to be so in our face but we're going to be witnessing things that we can't even imagine in our minds today. So hang on to your seats, your hats, because the ride is getting faster and faster. Ciao, guys.